start the launch of a new car video by the wheel. However, I'm sure you can tell by the way that I have effortlessly picked this thing up. This I would say that this new carbon fiber wheel is the embodiment. of the show welcome to the cockpit of the new ferrari 488 pista the most powerful v8 ever produced in a ferrari road car so as you can see by that montage the car looks pretty awesome but what is it all about well it's pretty much heavily influenced by the ferrari 488 gte race car well what does that mean well let's start with the engine it's now kicking out around 710 brake horsepower and how is it achieved well 50 percent of the engine components are brand new and we've got things like titanium com rods and carbon intake plenums no less uh, to make not only the engine lighter but all of these components uh, add up to uh, making it a much more free revving car which will allow it to reach that maximum red line of 8,000 rpm and of course that all adds up to more uh, sporty driving experience speaking of which gearbox and shift pattern has been revised this now has an all-new shift mode when you are in race mode that is more akin to the shift pattern in 488 GTE again enhancing the sort of sportiness and aggressive feeling of the ethos of this car speaking of ethos it is all about saving weight one of my favorite new features or should I say optional extras which is available on the new 488 Pista is the carbon wheels they are almost all carbon fiber but the interior of the wheel is lined with a heat shield to dissipate heat that's coming off the brakes and Ferrari have gone to great lengths with weight saving as well they've even gone so far as to use the same lithium battery found in the 488 GTE race car so something else that's pretty exciting I almost lose count what edition of side slip angle control we are on now but the 488 Pista has debuted side slip angle control 6 and if you were wondering if this thing could go any further they are now also in control of the brakes the idea behind side slip angle control 6 is that you know when the ABS kicks in when you're under really heavy braking even when you're on track this is designed to now modulate the brakes so it feels closer to once again the 488 GTE race car so you're not going to get that sort of weird augmented anti-slip from the conventional road car system as soon as you turn it into CT off you're going to go all sorts of race car and have what Ferrari is saying a more natural progressive more racy brake experience sounds awesome speaking of sounds what is it going to sound like we know this is now a turbocharged engine uh, the engine as I mentioned 50% new components it is heavily revised hopefully I get the opportunity to drive this and bring you some driving impressions firsthand the biggest thing for me if you watch this channel regularly I talk about smiles per gallon theater and emotion Ferrari for me are one of the brands that bring that in bucket loads and I hope that they have sprinkled the Maranello magic all over this thing so that when we turn over this turbocharged engine for the first time for its dynamic drive later in the year it's going to be phenomenal so of course with all that power you need to handle it as well 10% stiffer springs and of course with the optional extra carbon wheels for less unsprung weight I'm sure this thing is gonna drive phenomenally well I've spent a little bit of time in the standard 488 and that thing is no slouch you would hardly say that what this thing needs is more power and less weight uh, but the fact that Ferrari have gone and done it again I absolutely love it as a 458 Speciali owner this is a fascinating concept for me uh, it's the first modern-day turbocharged car which they have applied the Scuderia and Speciali treatment to the ethos of uh, less weight more power that for me equates conventionally to many smiles per gallon styling I think it looks fantastic photography of this car doesn't do it any justice the sculpture the rear wing is so exaggerated it almost looks like it's floating even though it, it is a fixed car it's not an active rear wing comments below let me know what you guys think what are you expecting of